Dog Works Radio is sponsored by Alaska Dog Works. Check out their website at alaskadogworks.com. Here's to the great American dog trainers out there. The hundreds of you who settled for the sometimes thankless job of working with four-legged companions because they pay the bills. Of course, there's something else you can do if you've got something to say. Start a podcast with First Paw Media and unleash your creative freedom. Maybe even earn enough money to tell yourself, hey, I'm no puppy wrangler. I'm a rover. I'm a trail breaker. I'm an adventurer. Visit firstpaw.media. Wag on over today. You can support this podcast on patreon.com forward slash firstpawmedia. Hey guys, Michelle here. It's hard to believe that it is already spring, and that means a few things. It's muddy here in Alaska. The Westminster Dog Show is on this week, and Mother's Day is fast approaching. If you are like me and your kids are old enough to have kids of their own, it is now just me, my husband Robert, and a gaggle of dogs to hang out with. While the dogs aren't good at giving me cards or flowers, it's fun to hang out with them on this special Mom's Day. Today we are going to give you 10 ways to celebrate Mother's Day with your dog. But before we get started, I'd like you guys to know about a freebie. We are offering our very own 100 dog training tips. Just go to ak.dog forward slash 100 tips and get yours today. There's a link in the show notes too, if that's easier for you guys. After the episode, I want you to ask yourself, what new ideas has this conversation sparked for you? Then share this episode with a family member or friends and discuss it together. As always, you can message me over on Instagram at First Paw Media. And just remember, dog training is a big commitment and accountability is a huge part. You can do it. I believe in you. All right, you guys, it's time for me to ask you that favor. I know you've been listening to DogWorks Radio now for a while, three or more episodes, and you like what you hear. Would you consider leaving us a five-star review? Something simple, two or three sentences max, is perfect for telling the world about you, what you like about this podcast and what you have learned and why you are a rabid listener. This helps us out tremendously. Just scroll down in your favorite podcast player and click the leave a review button. Super simple. And thanks so much for tapping that subscribe button. Okay, you guys, I know you're just as curious as I am every single week to find out where people are tuning in. And this week, our most popular cities are Santa Barbara, Pittsburgh, and Dallas. And hey, We have just one listener, according to our stats, that listened in Roanoke, Lynchburg this past week. This is a special thank you to them. And did you know we will be coming there this week? Did you know that we have a page on our website that lists where we will be on the road and how we can meet up and grab a beer, coffee, or better yet, an ice cream? Check it out. And oh, Hello to our listeners in Germany, too. We are happy you are all tuning in. Do you guys want more content? We have a behind-the-scenes after show on our Patreon account. Just head on over and join today, and you can get all kinds of cool perks, including exclusive access to the after show. All right, it's time to dive in. Are you ready? From First Paw Media, sponsored by Alaska Dog Works Professional Canine Training Center in Anchorage, Alaska. This is Dog Works Radio, committed to families and their dogs to build lifelong and fulfilling relationships. Visit our website at dogworksradio.com. Now, here are your hosts, Robert and Michelle Forto. Although the traditional Mother's Day is celebrated with our children, many people are now celebrating this special day with their dogs. Dogs are very much part of the family and are often referred to as fur kids and fur babies. I am sort of old school and refer to my dogs as canine buddies, but hey, that's just me. No judgment here. So 
just as raising children is no small task, raising a puppy also requires hard work and dedication. Owning a dog teaches us to be patient, to love, and to be responsible. Therefore, our whole team here at Alaska Dog Works would like to wish all the dog moms out there a happy Mother's Day from the bottom of our hearts. Here are some fun things you can do to celebrate Dog Mom's Day with your fur kid by your side. All right, you guys, let's dive into this. These are some great ideas. So hopefully you've gotten a pen and paper so you can jot some of these down. Let's go on a picnic. Pack brunch or lunch for you and some treats for your dog. Head out to a pet-friendly park or beach with the food, some toys, and a comfy blanket. Have fun with your dog while you enjoy the fresh air and a day out with your dog. Let's go on an adventure. Love the great outdoors? Why not find a new hiking trail to explore with your dog this Mother's Day? An adventure is the perfect way to celebrate this special day if you love the active lifestyle. You'll feel great after the exercise and doing it together with your dog gives you a chance to strengthen your bond. And if you come across wildflowers, why not pick a bunch? After all, it is Mother's Day. Let's go on a pet family date. If you're not too keen on preparing a picnic, a pet-friendly restaurant might just be the thing for you. Share a fabulous lunch or dinner with your beloved four-legged friend. Your dog will love the experience and you won't have to worry about packing food along. Pet-friendly restaurants and cafes will love to accommodate your dog. You can also choose an establishment with outdoor seating for this purpose. Let's head to the beach. If you live near the ocean, head over to the beach for a lovely day out with your canine buddy. Have fun playing with your dog and when you're tired, relax with a nice cooling drink. Your dog will definitely have fun running, digging, and swimming. If you don't live near the beach, why not make it a Mother's Day weekend? Book accommodations near the seaside and enjoy the sun, sand, and surf with your canine buddy. Let's watch a movie. Now, this one is most likely one of my favorite things to do with my dogs on Mother's Day. If you're a pet mom who just wants to relax and unwind at home, you can watch a movie. Turn on Netflix or pop in a classic movie, make some popcorn for yourself, get some yummy nutritious treats for your dog, and curl up on the couch with your canine buddy. You can't get any more comfortable than that. Staying at home to celebrate can be just as fun as going out. We're going to take a short break here and thank our sponsors of today's show. Did you know that Alaska Dog Works trains service dogs for those in need throughout North America? Each and every service dog that is trained through the Lead Dog Service Dog Program and Michelle Forda winner team has an individual training plan. We train for autistic, mobility, psychiatric, and PTSD for our soldiers for service work. If you know of someone that may need a service dog, please take a moment and check out Alaska Dog Works on social media and at alaskadogworks.com. All right, guys, let's get on with our list. Let's get pampered. Make wellness and health the top priority this Mother's Day. Being a dog mother is a lot of work, so why not treat yourself and head to the spa or salon? You're a pet mama who deserves pampering. A new ha hairstyle and or a relaxing massage will make you feel like a brand new person. Have your dog do the same. Schedule an appointment at the groomers for a bath, nail trim, or haircut. Once you're both done, why not make the most out of your rejuvenated selves and hit the town together? Let's get a photo shoot. A photo shoot with your pup will be a great way to remember the occasion. You can hire a professional or simply set up your own camera on a tripod. You can also choose to do this shoot at a pet-friendly studio, outdoors at the park, or even in your own home. If you're feeling full of energy, why not mix it up on the shoot location? Capturing photos with your canine best friend is not only fun, but it will give you mementos that you can treasure for years to come. Um, scrapbooking. What are you going to do with all the pictures from the photo shoot? 
can choose a few to frame up and put the rest in a scrapbook. Gather up favorite photos of you and your dog and create a scrapbook filled with precious memories of time spent with each other. You will have fun putting it all together and it's a keepsake that will definitely honor your relationship. Why not get some flowers? What's Dog Mother's Day without some beautiful flowers to brighten up the occasion? Just because your dog can't buy you flowers doesn't mean that you can't have a nice bouquet. Head over to dog-friendly farmer markets and pick out your favorite flowers. Or better yet, if the farmer's market allows dogs, take your dog along and let them pick out the flowers for you. Get a dog t-shirt. Got your eye on a dog t-shirt? This is the perfect time to get it. Wear it for your afternoon walk with your dog. You're a dog mom who deserves it. And while you're at it, why not get something for your canine buddy too? For many of us, our dogs are part of the family. They enrich our lives in many ways and we can never repay them for their unconditional love and companionship. Our dogs always have our backs and are always there for us through the good times and the bad times. Knowing that they will always be there for us is a feeling that can't be beat. So if you're a dog mom, happy Mother's Day to a possum mom. You're the best dog mama your fur kids could ever have and they love you to the moon and back. Last thing, treat your dog to some ice cream. Do you know dogs can't eat human ice cream because of the ingredients it contains? However, you can try out ice cream for dogs that is lactose and gluten-free and low in sugar. These tasty snacks come in three flavors and surely make Mother's Day better. And you guys, I got to tell you something. My dog Bodie would certainly disagree with this as he's eaten human ice cream his entire life. He's 12 years old and he's never had an issue with it. But just be cautious with your own dogs. So what do you guys think? Did you learn anything new about your canine buddy? Before we end the show, let's press pause for a sec. Maybe ask yourself, why did this resonate with me? What aspect of my relationship with my canine buddy could I apply this to? And what am I going to do differently this week to make my dog's training a little easier? Take some time to mull it out, talk it out with a family member or trusted friend, put some ideas down in your training journal, and then check back next week for our next episode. As always, I look forward to hearing your thoughts on this episode, so reach out over on Twitter at First Paw Media and let's spark a conversation. Until then, keep going. You're doing great. It's time to create the relationship with your dog that you've always dreamed of. Thanks for listening to Dog Works Radio. You can find the show notes for this episode and all others at alaskadogworks.com. And if you know someone in your life who needs help with their dog's training, be a hero and share our podcast with them. And we'll see you next time. From First Paw Media, this is Dog Works Radio. We hope you enjoyed this podcast and we invite you to subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. You'll find a link on the episode notes. You can tap or swipe on the episode cover art, and you'll see some offers from our sponsors. You can support our show by supporting them. If you like what you have heard, we would love it if you could give us a five-star rating and tell your friends how to subscribe, too. Your hosts are Robert and Michelle Forto. Our producer is Robert Forto and created for First Paw Media.